Hi everyone, it's the Julie Art here at Artful Element Studio. Today's project is a fusion film and resin bow. I get asked, what can I do with one sheet of fusion film? Well, you can do plenty, but today we're gonna to be making this cute little bow. You simply have to find your favorite piece of fusion film and then a pattern for your bow. You'll need some UV resin. I'm using the epoxy resin stores, your craft knife and a pair of scissors to be able to cut it out. And once you've got your pieces all cut out, now it's time to assemble and coat with resin. So I've transferred some of the UV resin to a black nail polish bottle and I do this because it has a perfect little brush inside and it's something that I can use over and over again. Just mark it that it has UV resin in it and that way you can use it for other projects. Now, you're simply going to do a couple coats of your resin curing in between to all of your pieces of your bow, prepping it for assembly. See how the brush glides across the pieces? It just, it really does help make this go by so quickly. And I am working on a silicone mat um, just to make it easy um, for peeling it up and down and, and reapplying and reapplying. Now, you're gonna wanna grab you some super glue to assemble your bow. And every bow pattern is different. Uh, this one's a real simple one. So we just make our loops. We'll add a little bit of super glue underneath and tack it down. And you do that to all the pieces. Now you can use a hair dryer to uh, warm it, to form it better. Uh, and now we'll do two, three coats. Do as really as many coats as you would like to get it to the rigidity that you would like. Um, this one had three coats. And I've cured it in between and there we have it. Now it's ready for its embellishments. And for this one here, I'm gonna put on a little hair pick. But these bows are great for projects of all kinds and made with one sheet of fusion film and a little bit of UV resin. And there you have it. Thanks guys, hope you enjoy. Happy creating and we'll see you next time.